Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play To The Moon. Now let's uh, go ahead and break this memory link. Three, four, and five. There we go. Okay, I guess that one wasn't too bad. And this uh, jar of pickles is... I think it's going to take us to the next memory. Let's head to it. So you guys are really going for it, huh? Yep, the construction's starting in just a few months. It's a bit of a squeeze, we had to split the payment. But with financing, we'll make do. How wonderful, having a dream house built at such a beautiful site. You had your wedding at that lighthouse near there all those years ago, didn't you? That's not all that special about it. We have a long history of that place. Well, it's good to have some good news at a get-together for once. Cheers and congratulations, you two. Hey, cheers. Be right back. I'm gonna get some fresh air. Me too. Well, buddy, it's sure been a while. Hasn't it? Who knew how hard it is to get across a few cities nowadays? That river, still so quiet, huh? Yeah, she's actually been talkative at home, and with Isabel. I guess she's just not used to you. <laughs> so I'm the bad guy here, huh? Oh hey, so did you tell River that thing from uh, back then? I did. So how did she take it? For the most part, she took it well. But something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Origami rabbits? Yes, lots of them. Ha! <laughs> I used to follow origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but making the same rabbits, day in and day out. Our house is literally filled with them now. Didn't Isabel say something like that is a common trait with River's condition? Yeah, but something doesn't feel right this time. When I ask her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this distant look in her eyes. It's almost as if she wants something from me. The strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her as well. Have you asked Isabel? Yes. She said she talked to her about it, but got nothing. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you, known you since middle school, and you're notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get too worked up. Usually when something says that, something's always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're probably right. Probably? I'm always right, John. Wait, so even he himself never knew what was up with those rabbits? Forget about the stupid rabbits, we've got bigger problems. It's a confined memory, and there's no mementos anywhere. Don't worry, we can probably draw one out from him. How? Leave it to me, I just gotta give the bartender a quick visit first. Mmm, so uh, some interesting developments here. 
Uh, I guess first off, uh, we'll talk about the the house and all that. This, so this is this is a little bit before the uh, construction of the house. Um, I guess we're at this stage, uh, their finances are a bit tight, but um, you know they they're managing just fine. Um, it seems like that that location, uh, Johnny said, he has a special uh, you know special significance to them. So I guess that'll we'll have to plumb that a bit further. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Even though Dr. Rosalind here is talking about the uh, the rabbits, we, we should forget about them. I don't think we should. It's it is a bit weird. We now know that Johnny wasn't the one that was folding them all the time, in, like uh, you know obsessively. It was River, but for whatever reason, we don't know. And you know, they're talking about some kind of condition that she has. More and more mysteries here. So let's talk to a good doctor here. Hurry up already. I don't want to be stuck here. Alright, calm down. I don't want to be stuck here either. We've got a job to do, but, you know, we got to have some food. So there's some kind of soup here, a little bit of bread. It's a classic combo. Uh, okay, so we have to talk to the bartender first. Hey there, could I get you anything? Hey yo, could I just get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit? Check. Uh, I'm sorry, we don't take checks. Oh, just put it on my tab then. Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? You're so getting reset. Hey there, could I get you anything? Hey, hello. Could I get uh, a bottle of uh, pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Just put it on my tab. I feel like spending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here are your pickled olives. Thanks, bro. You'll be getting an enormous amount of tips today. Thank you, sir. You're such an ass, Neil. Oh, listen. Up. <laughs> okay, so I guess, uh... It, it does have some parallels with, uh, you know, the machine that we're in, that we're using. Uh, it has some parallels with the Matrix, I guess. You can sort of, like, conjure up things here and there. Because we have, I guess, uh, Neil and, you know, Eva have the power to reset people and sort of, um, you know, uh, make things the way they want them because it's just a simulation. Or is it, actually? Because it's part of Johnny's memory. I guess it sort of allows us to manipulate certain facets of it. Anyway, let's, uh, let's sit down at the table and we'll talk to Johnny. Why, is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Yeah, are you a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am. Just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure, why don't you grab a seat? We'll down a bottle together. Oh, yeah, that sounds just swell. Eva, disable taste simulation, now! Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. I'm so gonna get you back for this. So that's how we got our first toaster! Ho 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 ho! Ah. You okay, then? Yeah, I'm just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone finds such things to be disgusting. Take your time. I've got two bottles left. So I said, hey, that's not right. And they totally agreed. You know what else is wrong with society today? Yeah, I actually have it right here. Why? Uh, may I see it? Eh, okay. Here it is. And freeze. Ugh, finally. Dear Lord. How are the olives, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. Uh. <laughs> well, uh, I guess that whole sequence was very amusing. 
um, I guess we can talk to Johnny and sort of trigger his own memories, sort of like a, I don't know how you describe that, sort of like a sort of infinite like feedback loop almost, because we can trigger his mementos by talking to him, uh, but at the same time we're in his memory, so I guess uh, maybe it's like jogging your own memory, you know, like we're just sort of bringing up conversation here and there. And also something else that I find kind of interesting is that, um, you know, uh, Dr. Neil Watts here, he can, uh, you know, even as a simulation, I guess, it, sending with sensory information to your brain, because he's just sitting in a couch in the real world. So I guess he can taste the uh, lovely taste of pickled olives. Let's expect this document here. It's got some sinister music going on. Ooh. Wait, don't you dare... Don't worry. Sheesh. See? I'm doing it by the books. Hulk smash! Neil, seriously. I'm trying to get into this and you're ruining the mood. Totally worth it. <laughs> oh, what? Always oh, a classic goofball. Okay, so let's head into this. And let's try and break this memento. Okay, this one looks a bit tricky. Um. Oh, okay. Maybe that was easier than I thought it was. It's kind of hard to see with the uh, white background of a, uh, of, uh, you know, the document, whatever this is. So I guess that's the, uh, the deed to the house, or the land, I should say. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so we'll step back into uh, a time when there were, um, I guess, adults, you could say, like middle-aged, perhaps, or, you know prime of your life and all that sort of thing. So we're back. Ooh. Crikey nutcrackers! You aren't Australia. Well, I am. Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground and we're standing on a damn flagpole. Just dump down. It's not like you can be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive. You can't stay down here. You can't get off. God, I hate it when it happens. happens. Oh, I swear if it's... Eva! What the... Wuss. Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed. By ships, I mean. You know how it is, now that everything has GPS and all that. Look, River. This, a, this place means a lot to me too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well, in a few years, we could afford to build a house on top of here. It's going to be a squeeze, but I'm sure we'll be able to see her from the window. In the morning, at night, we'd always be nearby. And, and we could walk here any time. She'll never be alone again, John. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. Good for them. You've got to be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading to it. The important thing is that over here, they are happy. Let's move on. Uh, okay, so I guess... 
Yeah, we don't really know why at this stage, but uh, this place is, must be hugely important to River because, you know, she's so um, withdrawn all the time, usually. So I guess for her to show that much emotion without a second thought is uh, it's quite significant, but we don't know why yet, which is unfortunate. And uh, the other thing I want to say is that, yeah, like like Eva was saying, you know, sometimes you just got to live in a moment. Even if, we, even if we know how this sort of story pans out in the end, perhaps we can sort of just be happy at this little juncture. Anyway, let's move on. Wait a minute. The way, the way they were referring to the lighthouse was Anya, weren't they? I suppose so. Then that river, she declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but uh, I can never wrap my, hat, my head around it. It's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. It's very peaceful here. I like the effects of the uh, these leaves here. I guess it must be autumn for them. Where are these two headed? Oh, this is just a little back, back further in uh, just uh, a few minutes before they reached the place. Do we go back or do we keep going this way? I'm not quite sure. Let's go down. Oh, we got everything. So now we just need to find... Oh, what's this over here? It's the, the memento. Let's head back a little bit further in time. Uh, like I said, these do get quite tricky. At least to me, anyway. Uh, I've got this right the wrong way. <laughs> uh, can I just invert everything? Uh, that doesn't quite work. <laughs> Okay, I'll just uh, cut the video here. Okay, uh, yeah, you can see that with my current moves, that wasn't the easiest one, and it's only going to get harder from here on out, so... Anyway, that's the last one, and it's the yellow origami rabbit. So without further ado, let's head on over and go back further in time. River? So Johnny has an excellent moustache. So we're still in the adult stage, we're in the bedroom here. Let's head on downstairs. And, uh... Hmm, okay. Let's examine this piano. An old baby grand piano. How the heck do they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I better be a cake, piece of cake for the TARDIS. Well, really, you can't even get it through its door. Hmm, true. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the ass for everybody. It'd probably take an entire episode to get inside. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither. Sounds pretty epic. Okay, uh, well, I am pretty nerdy as well, but, yeah, I guess, uh, D Dr. Rosalind here is perhaps not as high above it all as she might seem. You went out for a haircut this early in the morning? What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Um, it was 
was yellow. What else? A bit puffy. And... Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think we know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. You think she's... Do you? Perhaps. Who knows? But, like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid for over with. Hmm, okay, so this is the origin of the paper rabbits. Um, something I want to note is that, you know, even though it's just a very simple character sprite here. There's a lot of emotion that can be showed through, uh, I guess, River here. Like, the sort of downcast eyes. And she looks very, almost depressed in a way. Um, so that, that may or may not be her condition. We don't really know it yet. Um, I guess the game might give us a clue or might hint to us what it is. But yeah, it looks like things are a bit tense here, you know. Johnny doesn't really know what what's up with his wife. Um, she seems to be a little depressed here, or something of that nature. And he doesn't really know why. She's leaving. She left that yellow paper rabbit. Without really much of an explanation. So that's the memento. It's in this bucket over here. Many long strands of orange hair. Self a haircut? Well, I guess she just wanted a new look or something. Let's have a look out here. Do we miss anything? This box. New boxes of plain paper. Uh oh. I think I know where this is going. Yeah. I think we all do, Watts. seem very tense, yes. So I guess um, perhaps this is the older house, which is why we didn't really know why, um, or at least I didn't really know why we didn't see, we haven't seen this room before. Dear Lord, not again. So I guess this must be like a, an older house, or something like that. But it kind of looks very similar to the other house that we had. I guess it hadn't, hasn't been constructed yet, so this would be a different house than the one that's on the, on the cliffside. So this is the day she started it, huh? Well, I guess um, things have taken a, you know, very strange turn. Strange as it can be in this game, but we've had a little bit of humour here. But I guess the main the main question we have here is, uh, what's up with River? And you know, as as always, a relationship that we've seen so far between Johnny and uh, River seems to be a bit strange, a little bit peculiar for a couple. You know, they don't see, he doesn't really seem to understand his wife and. You know, maybe maybe River understands what's going on, but she's not really letting on to uh, due to whatever condition that she has. But uh, anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.